Hello, Grade Twos. Welcome to Chapter Eight: An Introduction to Multiplication and Division. Now, before we go on to actual multiplication and division, let's talk about equal groups. So, equal groups are groups that have the same number of things and are usually well. Actually, no, that's the same group. Equal groups doesn't necessarily mean same groups. Equal groups just means they have the same number of things. So here we have how many equal groups? Well, we have three groups of three. So since it's in groups of three, then that means that there's one, two, three equal groups. So let's count some equal groups. Our first question has oh, it looks as if they're in groups of two. So that's how many groups of two? One, two, three, four, five. So that's five equal groups. What about here? You could say they're in groups of two, but really they're more in groups of well, four. And how many did I just circle? Groups of four. How many groups of four? I just circled two groups of four. So that would be two equal groups. What about here? Oh, they're pentagons. Cool. How many equal groups of pentagons are there? Well, they seem to be in groups of five, and that's two equal groups. What about here? They're smiley faces, and they're in groups of six, and it's still two equal groups. It doesn't matter how many things are in a group, as long as they're in groups, then, well, they could still just be in the same number of groups. There might be a different number of objects in the group, but they're still the same number of groups. Anyhow, now that we've introduced you to equal groups, let's move forward. So, what is multiplication? Multiplication is a repeated addition. Count how many shapes there are. For this, we can have say, oh, it's five plus five plus five plus five, which is ten plus ten, which is twenty shapes. But this means that four groups of five is equal to twenty shapes, and oh. What's this? What's what's this? What's this little X? Well, that's the multiplication sign. Hooray! We see multiplication now. So since four groups of five equals to twenty shapes, then in multiplication we call that four times five is equal to twenty shapes. So four times five. Is equal to twenty. Now let me just write x is multiplication. Ah, big long word. Anyways, question number two. We have oh, that's three groups of three stars. So three plus three plus three is equal to how many shapes? Three plus three plus three is six plus three is nine shapes. But this also means that three groups of three is nine shapes, and that means that three times three is equal to nine shapes. Now, can you see where the repeated addition is coming in? Well, we have this too. So that's four groups of two. So four groups of two, and that's two plus two plus two plus two, which is four plus four, which is eight shapes. So four groups of two is eight shapes, and that's four times two equals to eight shapes. 
Okay? That's the repeated addition part. There's more to it. Now in arrays, arrays are just a block with rows and columns. So here we're going to count how many rows and count how many in each row. And we're also going to count how many there are in total. So how many rows are there? Rows are the ones that go not up and down, just horizontally, okay? So there's one, two, three rows. And how many are there in each row? How many stars? One, two, three, four. Four stars in each row. How many are there in all? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. And from that we get three times four equals to twelve. Now we're going to write a multiplication sentence for each array. Here we have one, two rows, so we're going to write two in this line with rows and brackets under it. And how many are there, how many stars are there in each row? One, two, three, four, five stars in each row. And how many are there in all? So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in all. From that, from this array, we get the multiplication sentence 2 times 5 equals to 10. Question number 2, we have an array that looks like this. How many rows are there in this array? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows. Okay, so that's 6 rows. And how many stars are there in each row? One, two, three. So three in each row. And how many are there in all? That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. From this multiplication sentence, we have six times three equals to eighteen. Now this array has, oh, one, two, three, four rows. And how many do we have in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things in each row. Four times seven is equal to what? So, well, how many stars are there in all? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight stars in all. From this array, we get the multiplication sentence 4 times 7 equals to 28. Now, our last array has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stars in each row. How many stars are there in all, though? So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 in all. From this array, we get the multiplication sentence 5 times 5 equals to 25. Now remember, kids, you can take a break whenever you want. This is the end of this section. Now we're moving on to the next one. Okay guys, now we're going to talk about multiplying by 2's and 5's. When you multiply by 5, you really just count by 5. And when you multiply by 2, using a doubles fact is really just the same as multiplying by 2. But here is something that is called the multiplication table. It has everything in single digits multiplied together. The things that are related to 2 are these. And the things that are related to 5 are these. Okay, guys. You will be seeing much more of this in grade 3, and you will have to remember it in grade 3. Right now, you don't really have to remember it, but if you want, go ahead. Anyhow, here's how using a doubles fact is the same as multiplying by 2. Because... A doubles fact is essentially, for example, in here, two groups of eight. That would be two times eight, which is, if we look up here, 16. And eight plus eight is 
in fact, 16. Now let's do some multiplying. So we have 9 plus 9. What's 9 plus 9? Well, it's 18. But what is it also? Well, 9 plus 9 is two groups of 9, so that's 2 times 9, which is equal to 18. 7 plus 7 is 14, but 7 plus 7 is also two groups of 7, so that's 2 times 7, which is also 14. Because they're the same thing. They mean the same thing. 6 plus 6 is two groups of 6, so that's 2 times 6. They're equal, and that is equal to, well, 6 plus 6 is 12. So 2 times 6 is 12. 4 plus 4 is uh, 8, but it is also two groups of 4, so 2 times 4 equals to 8. 5 plus 5 is, well, it's two groups of 5. So that's 2 times 5, which is, 5 plus 5, 10. 3 plus 3 is two groups of 3, so that's 2 times 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is also 6. Now, really, at some point in your life, you'll need to remember your multiplication table, especially in grade 3 math. All right? So, that's 2s and 5s over. Remember, 5s is just counting by 5s. Technically, if you're multiplied by 4, you're also counting by 4. But 5 is a very friendly number that you will grow to love if you don't love it now. What about multiplying by 10s? Well, when you multiply by 10, you really just add a 0. So counting by 10 is just like adding on a 0 at the end of a number. For example, 70 is 7 times 10 because it's, you count by 10 7 times. What about 4 times 10? Well, following this logic, it would be 40. Is it correct? 10, 20, 30, 40. Yes. 9 times 10? 90. You add a 0 at the end of the 9. Is it correct? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Seven times ten? Well, seven times ten is seventy. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. And two times ten, you add a zero at the end of the two, and you get twenty. Is it correct? Ten, twenty. Yes. Okay, so now we are going to do some division. So since multiplication is repeated addition, its opposite operation, division, is repeated subtraction. For example, there are 24 rolls of toilet paper, so we start with 24. Each pack of toilet paper has 6 rolls. How many packs of toilet paper are there? So we repeatedly subtract 6 until there's nothing left. 24 minus 6, 18, 18 minus 6, 12, 12 minus 6 is 6, 6 minus 6 is 0. How many times did we subtract 6? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four times. In division, we would say 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. But what's the division sign? The division sign is this. A line with two circles. These circles are supposed to be filled. On a smaller scale, they're just dots. Now, let's do some practice problems. If there are 48 people in a double gym class and each team, well, 8 people on each team in a game, how many teams are there? Well, 48 minus 8 equals to 40. 40 minus 8 equals to 32. 32 minus 8 equals to 24. 24 minus 8 equals to 16. 16 minus 8 equals to 8. 8 minus 8 equals to 0. Okay, 
So 48 divided by 8 is, how many times did we subtract 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6, which means that there's 6 teams. Moving on to the next question. 21 eggs are used to make banana bread. Each batch has 3 eggs. How many batches are made? So 21 subtract 3 repeatedly. 21 minus 3, 18. 18 minus 3, 15. 15 minus 3, 12. 12 minus 3, 9. 9 minus 3, 6. 6 minus 3, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. Okay. So that's 21 divided by 3. And how many times did we subtract 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 21 divided by 3 equals to 7. 7 batches of banana bread. All right, so George needs 36 donuts to bring to a party. There are 9 donuts in a box. How many boxes does George need? So 36 minus 9 is equal to uh, 27. 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Now that's 36 divided by 9, and that's how many times we subtracted 9? 4. So 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4, which means that George needs four boxes. Okay, now let's continue with division. In section 8, let's find some equal shares. Make equal groups. So how many sons are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 in total. So here we would put 6. How many equal groups are there? So there's 1, 2, 3. 3 equal groups. So 6 divided by 3 equals to how many there are in each group, which is 1, 2, 2. Okay, so let's do some practice problems. How many sons are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 sons in total. How many equal groups are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five equal groups. So that's 15 divided by five. And how many are there in each group? One, two, three. Three in each group. So 15 divided by five equals two, three. Okay, here there's circles. How many circles are there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight circles in total. How many equal groups are there? One, two. Two equal groups. So that's eight divided by two. And how many are there in each group? One, two, three, four. 4. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Now if you remember, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Here we have an array. So for our groups, let's just use rows. So how many squares are there in total in this array? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 squares in total, and how many equal groups are there? So it's in rows, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Four equal groups. That's 24 divided by 4. And how many are there in each group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each group. So 24 divided by 4 equals to 6. Now remember the toilet paper rules from last section? 24 divided by 6 is also equal to 4. 
and 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Now there's addition subtraction fact families and then there's multiplication division fact families. But you can take a break whenever you want, remember that. We're going to take a break from division and do some problem solving. We get to choose a strategy. Choose a strategy. Solve. Jonah's is donating some old toys. He can fit eight toys in a box. If Jonah can send five boxes, how many toys can he donate? So here's the thing. Even if there isn't a step one, step two, step three, step four, we still need to know what we are doing and understand the problem. So there's eight toys in a box and five boxes. That sounds a little bit like multiplication. So that's eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, or five times eight. What's five times eight? It's like counting by fives. So, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and that's it. That's eight. Okay, so that's 40. Jonah can donate 40 toys. Now let's check our answer. So we can do it a different way. For our calculations, we have 8 plus 8, 16, 8 plus 8, 16 again, and that's 16 plus 16 plus 8. 16 plus 16 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. Okay, so our calculations are good. He can fit 8 toys in a box and 5 boxes, so that's 8 toys, 5 boxes, 5 times 8, 8 times 5. The commutative property is actually not only addition, it does apply to multiplication. It does not apply to division. So we have our information correct. Did we answer the question? How many toys can he donate? 40 toys. Okay, that's fine. Now we can move on to the next question. There are 27 meter sticks in a hallway of classrooms in a middle school. There are nine classrooms in that hallway. If each classroom has the same number of meter sticks, how many meter sticks does each classroom have? Okay, guys, for all the Americans out there, there's only three countries in the world, including the United States, that use the imperial system. They're the, they're the only ones that really use foot, yard, miles, and all that. The rest of the world uses things like centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So a meter stick is like our version of a yardstick, except a meter is a bit bigger. Now, since there's 27 meter sticks and nine classrooms, and each classroom has the same number of meter sticks, that sounds a lot like equal groups, which sounds a lot like division. So, 27 divided by 9 is equal to what? 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. 18 minus 9 is equal to 9. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. Or you could just remember your multiplication table, which you have to do in grade 3, and remember that 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. That means that each classroom will have 3 meter sticks each. Okay, let's check our answers over. Now there's 27 meter sticks. Okay, so we have 27 to start. And there's 9 classrooms. And each classroom has the same number of meter sticks. Okay, so 9 classrooms. We're using the number 9. So let's divide by 9. And our... Question asks, how many meter sticks does each classroom have? And we answered three meter sticks each. So our information is correct, and we answered the right question. But is our calculations correct? So we have 
3 times 9, which is 27, because I remembered my multiplication table all the way back when. And we also have the 27 minus 9 is equal to 18. 18 minus 9 is 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0, and that's 3 times. So, our answer is correct. Because our calculations are correct, it answers the right question, and the information is correct. Now, let's move on back into division. For the remainder of this chapter, we are going to be talking about remainders. Bad jokes. Anyways, what is a remainder? So a remainder is something that is left over. For example, here. How many stars do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have 13 stars in total. And how many equal groups do we have? Let's just use rows. Because this is an array, kind of. One group of four, one group of four, and another group of four. But there's something left over. But it doesn't form an equal group, so we can't put it in. So we have three equal groups and four in each group. How many is left over? One. To show this using division, we would put 13 divided by 4 equals to 3 equal groups with 1 left over. Now, let's make some equal groups and divide. And write the remainder if there is one. So in this picture, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 circles in total. And we have two equal groups of circles. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 circles in each group. There's also 1, 2, 3, 4 circles left over. Here, we write... 16 divided by 6 equals to 2 remainder 4. Now, remainder is usually shown with an R. Question number 2 has a bunch of rectangles. Yeah. They look almost square, but they're still rectangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 rectangles in total. And how many equal groups? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 equal groups. How many things in each group? 1, 2, 3. 3 in each group. And 1, 2, 2 left over. That this information would give us the division sentence 14 divided by 3 equals to 4 remainder 2. Now this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 moons. So 13 in total. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal groups of 2. So 2 in each group. And 1 left over. To show this, using a division sentence, we would write 13 divided by 2 equals to 6 remainder 1. All right. That's it. That's it for this chapter. Don't forget to do your homework and do some practice problems. Have a healthy helping of practice problems. I'll see you next chapter.